and what has gone on YouTube. Just another gaming channel, bringing you just another video. Ooh, thunder. I love it. Um, so we just finished the side quest section in cosplay, we're back to the main quest, Le Ke Jafu. Uh, part 19 of the Blue and Wine DLC. We've been chatting to an old vampire friend of mine. Right, I want to get rid of that elven sword now. Oh, actually, it's pretty, pretty good actually, isn't it? Pretty good. 332 to 406. What are my others? Oh, sorry, my bad. Not a master crafted wolven, was it? No, Viper Venomous Silver Sword. No. It was this one, wasn't it? Okay, it's got less bonuses. But, you know, let's try it out for a bit. Let's try it out. Let's try an Elven Blade for a while, eh? So, a wit. It's uh, allergic to fire and certain type of oil and yarden. Get the shield up ready. We will find its lair. Hear the wolves howling in the background. Oh shit. Ooh, damn bitch. All these different beasts is fighting each other, eh? Get some, yeah. That's right, son. I've got no more swallow left. I'm gonna I'm gonna meditate. Get my potions back. Seeing as none of this stuff weighs anything, we'll take this bad boy. Let's meditate for just a very short amount of time. Okay. Got my six potions back. It's a little bit lighter, which is always good. Huh, okay. Need to put a torch in there at some point. Traps out ready. A cool little black ethereal beasts, aren't they? I'm like a green flame. Reminds me of World of Warcraft fire for some reason. Some of the cutscenes in that. Don't ask me why. Music's really here, isn't it? Violin. Ooh. Strange. Get a sense that the spoons are beating out some kind of rhythm. A message. Trying to tell me something. Maybe they are. Shit. Sounds like a curse, all right. Gerald is so cool, isn't he? Such a cool can do. Somebody's clearly obsessed. Regis mentioned the place might be cursed. Can't be a coincidence. Need to look around. Die. Need to search it thoroughly. Find a way to collect some white saliva. White's obsessed. A real collector. Thoroughbred. Spoon. Pretty ordinary. Maybe a little old. Another 
another spoon. <laughs> Just as normal as the last one. Spoon's incredible. The craftsmanship must have graced a rich man's table. Shall I read it? Yeah. For a few days now, I've been having dizzy spells. I never experienced anything like this before. If it carries on, although I can't, I can't stand witchcraft and sorcery after visit a herbalist. The dizziness has not gone away. Worst of all, it's been joined by pain so strong that at times I cannot see. I've been to the herbalist. A repulsive old crone looked at me like she had seen a monster. She gave me some cursed mixture that I have to drink twice a day. It's not helping at all. Today, like every day, I looked in the mirror and I was lost for words. I used to check. I don't have any wrinkles or bags under my eyes, but today there are no wrinkles, but I'd rather that there were. I have hair growing from my breasts, it's horrible. It's got to be because of these damn herbs. I went to the herbalist to smash her face in, but her chambers were empty, she must have known what would happen to me and legged it. My family is starting to suspect something, although I'm cutting the hair back, which is growing faster and faster. I tried to put the idea out of my head, but I can't hold it back any longer. Maybe it wasn't the herbs that led to this. But a curse placed upon me, an old beggar who I had to chase off one time. I have to find out. I want to hire someone who can find the herbalist. I cannot think, and it's getting hard to write. Loneliness, no family. Eat, I want to eat. Not a good spoon, empty spoons. Nothing eat, it hurts. Mirror, lies, no. Ah! Okay. All these spoons. Smash mirror. As if someone couldn't stand to look at themselves. The monster. The journal's author, maybe. Indeed, indeed. No spoon you have shall sink to you. Whatever lives here treated that literally. Still searching for the right spoon. Why it's obsessed. Maybe I've got to uh, find the right spoon for it. Sophisticated crafting. Tag bears a description. White's a true collector. I'm I'm guessing that that's the spoon key. Skeletons. Doubt they came here willingly. This have anything to do with the curse? None shall sit and dine with you at your table. It'd make sense. No claw or fang marks. Probably choked to death. Broken neck. Indentation in the skull's lateral surface. Smacked in the head with something heavy. Right arm bit right off. Teeth all knocked out. Somebody tried to force feed him. Okay. Now what? Is there an upstairs? No, there's a downstairs though. Actually, it does seem like a white slayer. Bit atypical, but still. Cauldron should be somewhere around here. Checking these spoons for metal. Do you know, I think we need the torch, don't we? Quick look. That's what I got here. 
looking for. Why it's not particularly tidy. Table set. White who lives here is getting ready for some sort of feast. White that lives here, definitely afflicted by a curse. And it's been trying desperately to lift it. Spoon, pretty ordinary. Maybe a little old. Colvin's empty, unfortunately. We just need some brew. I'm afraid he won't get that. No choice but to hide and wait for the saliva glands and their bearer. Need a spot that'll let me observe the cauldron. Hiding in the closet, eh? <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. I want to try and keep this down to ten uh, to twenty minute episodes if possible. Oh god! Can stay at that thing. to bring folk here, convince them to sit at the table with you, right? Well, I'm going to be your guest now. Your willing guest. It's awesome, isn't it? in the mirror. <laughs> Need to get this right. Words of the curse were, none shall sit and dine with you at your table. No spoon you have shall say to you, never again shall you wish to spy your reflection in the mirror. <laughs> it's a cool monster, isn't it? Like, kind of cute and... Okay, 
fucking Geralt so veiny. Damn, that, that food really kicked his ass, didn't it? So it works, but not quite like I expected. Okay, where are we? Oh, shit. What was the quest called? What's the quest called? Uh, oh, it's the main quest. Was it going to turn back into a woman? Just going outside, okay. Weird shots that's kind of miss. Weird. Well, they dismantled my shield straight away. It's pretty awesome. Not, not for me, obviously. Right, it's their fire. It, it does something. Oh my god, I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! Run, Forest, run! Run, run, run! I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. I can do it, I can do it. Oh! Kicking their ass. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh shit, shit, shit. Ah. Oh. Just, just caught it in, mate. Sorry. Yeah. Cheers. So they're dead. Gotta follow um, the scent. Oh, it's another one. Shit. Boom. Yeah. I love that colour of flame. It's awesome, isn't it? It's freaking nice one, mate. Here it is, here it is. Easy, not gonna hurt you. Eat. I, I must eat. What does she have to eat to satiate herself? Taking a Geralt, where are we taking it? My kitty cat Luna's showing out, aren't you, girl? Hello? What are you doing? Maybe I've taken her back to the house, perhaps. Hmm. Come on, loading screen, you can do it. You sneak, get the pure captain. I cannot do it. I'll take him to my villa. Oh, that's nice. So I took her by the hand and let her here. 
seemed the only sensible place for her. You did the right thing, sir. She should recover quickly here. Don't worry, sir. I shall see to everything. She is safe here and in good hands. She'll soon be back on her feet. Might actually take a while. She hadn't eaten anything in over a hundred years when I found her. Horrid. Whatever brought this about? Told me her story on the way here. Her name's Marlena. She was once the very beautiful and proud heiress to the Trastamara estate. One evening, when she was holding a banquet for friends, a beggar came to her gate seeking alms. He had a bowl and a spoon with him. He sat outside her fence and waited. I've heard of the custom. An ancient right of hospitality that obliges one to give food and drink to such a guest lest he depart hungry. To neglect the custom is to bring great misfortune down upon oneself. Marlena didn't care a whit for the old customs. She drove the man off, saying she'd rather feed the leftovers from her feast to her dogs than to give the beggar anything. The beggar then broke his spoon, cast a curse. She was beautiful, so he said she'd never wish to look at herself in the mirror again. Since she adored feasts, he swore no one would ever wish to sit and dine with her. And as she even refused him the crumbs from her table, he swore she'd never find a spoon in the world that would sate her hunger. A harsh punishment. I imagine lifting the curse was hardly simple. Might as well do the cutscenes, eh? are tricky. They play on irony. Always gotta figure out what the catch is. Marlena had spent decades looking for a way to lift it. Transformed into a white, she stole spoons and lured folk into her home, trying each time to get them to dine with her. Didn't work. So what did? Someone had to sit down and share a meal with her, of their own free will. They had to eat without using spoons and make her look at her reflection. That's it? That was all it required? Simplest solutions are sometimes the last that come to mind. Besides, when you're a white, it's pretty damn hard to find willing human company for a feast. I imagine so. But, most importantly, it is now over. Please, don't worry. She will be in good hands here. We'll renovate when I've got more coin. Thanks. Gotta get back to my business now. See you soon. So, I've got to report back to Regis, my friend who is a vampire. Um, although we'll, we'll start that on the next, uh, on episode 20. So, that is part 19, uh, and that's the second part of the Lekeja Fu quest, uh, which is the main quest. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the cutscenes and the story. So, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. So, cheers! <laughs>